A Time of Conversion Monday of the first week in Lent God speaks to us. I myself will seek my sheep. I will seek that which was lost, and I will bind up that which was broken, saith the Lord Almighty. From Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 11 and 16. Meditation. In the epistle for today, the prophet Ezekiel portrays our Lord as a good shepherd who takes care of his flock. He was to call himself the good shepherd, John 10:14, and say that he gives his life for his sheep. He knows his sheep and they know him. He walks before them and they follow him. He defends them against ravening wolves and gives his life to save them. That is indeed what our Lord does for the children of God and of the church in these days of mercy and forgiveness. By the voice of the church, God calls all of his sheep to the fold of his Son, that they might live by his grace. We want to be attentive to his voice, whether we be lost, wounded, weak, ill. The Divine Shepherd will find us again, will take care of us, will heal us if we seize the grace of conversion which he desires to give us. We are all in need of conversion. Let us be firmly convinced of the fact. And so let us ask our Lord for the grace not to spend this Lent carelessly. For indeed, one day, the day of our death, time will no longer exist for us, and we will no longer be able to do penance. It will then be too late. We know that everything which we will have done during our life that is not for the love of God will merit no reward. His mercy, as Good Shepherd, will give way to His justice, for He is also the just judge, as the Gospel of today describes Him. Let us understand in particular that a true love of God has to find concrete expression in the love of our neighbor, and so let us act, act in consequence. Lord Jesus, Good Shepherd, help me to take advantage of this Lent in order to draw closer to Thee, and grant me to unite my prayer to the practice of good works toward my neighbor, so as to hear one day from Thy lips these consoling words of today's Gospel. Quote, Come, ye blessed of my Father, Possess you the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. End quote. From Matthew twenty five thirty four. Prayer. Convert us, O God our Savior. From the Collect. Or, O Lord Jesus, if I want to set and order charity in me, I must love thee and I must love my neighbor. I must love thee with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, and my neighbor as myself. In such a way that I not do to him what I would not like him to do to me, and that I give to others what I desire for myself. From the Venerable Raymond Jourdain, quoted by Father Gabriel of St. Mary Magdalene. Thoughts Behold, now is the acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. From the Antiphon of the Magnificat for the first Sunday in Lent. Whoever is moved by true and perfect love is never self-seeking, but desires only that God's glory may be served in all things from the imitation of Christ. Resolutions number one. Let us imitate the Good Shepherd in coming to the consolation of someone near us, a colleague, a neighbor, a friend, when we see him having trouble. Number two. Let us pray and offer sacrifices for a particular person in the family or neighborhood who still lives far from God. Suggestion. You may remind the children of what the Blessed Virgin said to the children of Fatima, quote, Many souls go to hell, because there is no one to pray and make sacrifices for them. End quote.